That's a six inch lollipop from 75 yard. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, 75 yards, 20 something feet of elevation with the gun turned sideways. So yeah, I'm kind of working for that shot. And there's a bunch of foliage between me and that lollipop too. Let's try that plate in the distance. Okay, um, <laughs> come here. Very recently I released a video where I was talking about um, the fact that barrels move. When you, when you shoot your rifle that your barrel tends to bounce a little bit. And, I mean, you would think I was, you would think I was slaying the, the sacred cow with that statement. So many people absolutely lost all perspective off of that video that with all honesty it made me go well clearly I'm gonna have to do a video on that in all the years that I have been shooting AR-15s there are certain things that I absolutely know to be true and one of those things is the fact that when you pull the trigger on an AR-15 it is an undisputed fact that your barrel is going to move to such a degree that there actually are products that are sold for this purpose to to damp the vibrations that go through a barrel if you look right here this is a 0.750 barrel and chances are it'll probably still do it see that little bit of movement if you look you'll actually notice it if you look through the spaces right here Okay, you can tell that barrel is moving. So when I demonstrated this in the video, several, I assume to be grown men, kind of lost all reason. And apparently it wasn't enough to just say I'm wrong. I mean, there was all kinds of crazy name calling. And I thought, well, then I do believe it's time to get out the big guns. I pulled up several video clips on YouTube of barrels moving during shooting and to no avail. So I thought, ah, I know the one I need to show everyone. Now I'll go ahead and just leave you with this video. This is a video that was shot by Larry Vickers shooting an M4, a BCM M4 that had been machined open. Now I want you guys to understand something. This gun, you're not looking at CG, okay? This is not a CGI gun. This is a real firearm has had key components machined open by a guy named Joe, Fo Joe Barnesfather. I've actually trained with Joe. He opened up this gun in several key areas to show different components of the gun doing their job. And this video completely speaks for itself. There's one very key part that I want to show you that I want you to be looking for. There is a portion where you actually see the gas block and the portion in front of the gas block. Now, I've always known that barrels do this when you pull the trigger. What I even didn't know, or had never actually realized until I really was paying close attention, was that the portion just in front of the gas block actually goes like this. I mean, watch. See? It literally is going, and it's just flicking. Now understand, all of this is happening well after that bullet has left. But that, that frequency that's running through the barrel has to come to rest. And if you're talking about a machine gun, that weapon is in cycle while this is happening, which is why machine gun groups tend to kind of do a whole lot of this. So it needs to be understood that barrels on AR-15s absolutely do move, and you have to be prepared for that. That is what costs you accuracy, because if the barrel has not come to rest before you pull the trigger again, you're not going to get a solid hit again. You're going to have a deviation. You're going to have the thing moving. So... Uh, I will leave you with this video. As always, I thank you guys for watching. God bless you all. Get those guns out in practice. Enjoy the video.
This segment brought to you by Bravo Company USA. One of the most requested videos in the history of the Vickers Tactical YouTube channel is inside the M4 carbine. We've answered the mail. With the video you're about to watch, we've taken you on a one-of-a-kind inside look inside this BCM carbine. Special thanks goes out to not only Bravo Company USA, but Joe Barnes' father of Louisville, Kentucky. Enjoy. Enjoy. 